Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB or Chris, and today we're going to do, what are we gonna do? We're gonna use a sample, actually. This is actually, you can't see, it's written on it. This is Carve uh, Semwa Valley. I believe it's pronounced Semwa, French, I think. Um, and it is it is uh, inspired by, I wrote it down, uh, a river, the region surrounding a river in Belgium. Um, and to me, Again, this sample sent by Marion, if I didn't mention that. Thank you, Marion. Beautiful scent. Um, scent strength for me right at medium. Again, by Carve, who makes the razors. Beautiful, beautiful scent. To me, it's a warm and rich. There's nothing offending about this scent at all. It's really beautiful. I think on the website it said tobacco, uh, but not like, don't think cigarette tobacco. Think tobacco leaf. It's really, really beautiful. Um, amazing scent. I actually love the scent. It is, it is quite, quite nice. The price on this is, uh, I wrote it down, let's see, $17.81 for 3.5 ounces. That's over $5 an ounce on our PPO, which makes it quite an expensive uh, soap. And I want to mention something about that. Uh, just because I say it's, you know, expensive per ounce or if it's inexpensive, doesn't mean you should buy it. I'm giving this information for you to do what you like with. And so if you're someone who's, you know, uh, oriented more towards budget shaving, this might not be for you, or it may. And it really just depends on you. I'm just giving you that information to let you know. And my chart is based on, you know, obviously the uh, less price per ounce, the better in terms of cost. However, you may find that a uh, soap that's very expensive for, per ounce is your preference. And if you do that, it's quite okay. I'm just giving you the information. I'm not trying to sway you one way or the other, but I do take that into consideration. We're gonna be using the Evo Omega. You can't, boy, the light in here, it's terrible. Omega Evo Synthetic Brush. It's actually the first time I've used it. This was generously sent to me by Ruds. And if you haven't checked out his channel, I will link it below. Please check it out. Um, by the time you see this video, I will have used it on video, however, because I'm shooting some of these head shaves and videos in advance, because by the time you're seeing this, hopefully, I will be on uh, vacation. Um, our family had reserved a place uh, at the Outer Banks um, way before this COVID, and it turns out that they've opened it back up. Now, we're taking all our own food. We're basically going to stay in the house and on the beach, right in front of the house, which is a private area. And so we're not going to be, you know, exposed to lots of lots of people. So we're, we're still going to be social distancing, uh, basically not going out to, to stores, just either in the house, in the pool, or on the beach. And so hopefully, by the time you see this, that will be my situation. And I'm recording these to have some content up because I'll surely be busier. I might be able to shoot a, a video or two when I'm there. I don't know what the situation will be. There will be a lot of us there, like, I don't know, 20. You know, it's a large house, so it's a family trip. And so hopefully by now, I'm sitting on the beach and enjoying a nice adult beverage, beer specifically, non-IPA, because I'm not fancy pants. And I will drink it right out of the can because I'm a savage that way. Anyway. Um, just going to try to enjoy and relax and enjoy some time with the family. Uh, it's, it's my wife's, you know, family. Um, but still, it will be enjoyable. They're great people. And so we're looking forward to having a great time. So, But by the time you're seeing this, hopefully that will be my situation. Um, I put two feather blades in the, uh, in the leaf right, razor. Because a lot of people talk about the third blade up top doing nothing. We're going to find out. We'll see how it feels. Um, if it feels any different. It might actually be hard to tell. And what I'm going to learn from this shave. Is if it feels just as good with only two blades. Then I'm on, only going to use two blades. There'll be no need to use that third. And so I'm hoping. That it feels great. And I find that only two blades are necessary because that'll save me a half a blade, you know, every time I need to swap them out. So, and usually I do about three shaves on a set of blades for this leaf. 
no more than three generally. That's just me. You may find you get more. You may find you get less. That depends entirely on you and your use case, as it does with everything. Um, last time I used these feather blades in the leaf, I really didn't like as they felt kind of rough. So I'm hoping this will be toned down a little bit. I will say the leaf has become a very popular head shaving razor, and with good reason. It is my preferred razor. Now I wanna mention, I don't have any relationship with leaf. Um, they'll occasionally like my video on Twitter or something, and that's about it. Like I, I don't have any ongoing dialogue. Occasionally I'll send them a question. Like for example, I emailed them about the twig and I get the same response that everybody else does, you know, like we're producing it, hope to have it by such and such. So I don't have a special relationship with Leaf. I just enjoy the razor. And uh, many people are finding who are head shavers and ladies who are leg shavers that they enjoy this razor. By the way, this soap just smells terrific. Um, I really, really like the scent. I'm finding the scent very enjoyable. Residual slickness for me is okay, but not great. I'm, I'm a little surprised by that. It could be the way I'm lathering, but I'm getting a little bit of drag here. So this is a vegan soap, not that that matters. But on my first pass here, I'm finding that once the soap is, uh, is gone, that there's some, but it's not a lot. And again, this could be totally me, so please Take that into consideration. Hope I didn't cut myself there. I felt something funny right there. But hopefully I didn't cut myself because I've also cut myself quite a few times, you know, like a handful of times with the, with the leaf. So don't sleep on it. People who are poo-pooing it and going, ah, oh, that's, it's just like a cart. It operates similar to a cart in that it has a pivot, but don't sleep and, and think you can't cut yourself with it because you most certainly can. And I am living proof of it. I must, I must confess, um, the residual on this, and it could be 100% my lathering, I'm just not feeling it. Um, and also, keep in mind, maybe that blade, maybe I'm feeling more drag because of the top of the razor here where there's normally a blade in there and it's a different texture on my head. I don't know, but I'm, it seems to me that I'm not feeling the residual that I'm used to. However, now that I'm going over it on the back, it feels fine. So again, I'm just giving you my organic thoughts as I'm going. And it's feeling better now. So maybe that was just me. It's one thing to keep, keep in consideration about these videos. People have, you know, Lots of various thoughts and feelings about what makes a soap great. Uh, I will say this one smells terrific and I think it's absolutely serviceable. Is it of the quality of the $5 per ounce soaps? I just don't know, honestly. I haven't used it enough to know, but I'll tell you what, based on scent, I think it's fabulous. And I think you're obviously, obviously it's gonna be a good soap. The question is, usually that $5 mark um, begins to get to these soaps that have really a lot of uh, ingredients that make a soap. Uh, they give it a lot of good post-shave properties and residual slickness. And like some soaps, when they're they have a lot of goat's milk and the various heavy amount of all the butters, like there's a sheen on your face after you remove it, which is that residual slickness that it's hard to even wash off. And when a soap washes off really quickly and easily, usually it doesn't have quite as bit, quite as much residual slickness. So um, this soap, based on my first pass, for a time didn't seem like it had great residual slickness at $5 an ounce, just my opinion. However, when I did the back, it felt just fine. Now let's go ahead and hydrate it a little more too, just to see what happens with that. And keep in mind, um, what I work for here is just a serviceable lather, so I'm not gonna spend the amount of time that a lot of people do lathering. I just do it my way, which is what I, <laughs> it's kind of what I say on the channel, it's your shave, do it your way. Do it however makes you happy and achieves the result at the end that you want.
By the way, the Evo brush, I'm liking it. Of course, I will have used that in my face shave by the time you've seen this video. So I'm sure I will say in that video that I like it. It's, to me, similar to the Simpson uh, Trafalgar um, brush. As far as, uh, there's some scrub to it, but it still feels good. It does flay, and that has been a problem with synthetic brushes that people want backbone for is they tend not to splay well. As in the original Simpson Chubby 2, it was difficult to work with because it didn't splay well. But uh, this one seems to be the Evo and the new Simpson Trafalgar T3 that I have seem to display pretty well. So I'd say there are definitely improvements and this Omega is feeling pretty good as well. So the soap is feeling better this time. So maybe just, maybe just, um, you know, maybe I just had to get to know it a little better. Um, keep in mind, I do not call myself a reviewer. I tried to do structured reviews Many years ago, I did not like it. And so the whole purpose of my channel in terms of product is to use them and tell you the way I'm feeling about them when I'm using them. So this is not a product that I'm studying for a week and using many, many times. There are people who do that, reviewers. So, you know, if you want a comprehensive review, go check those out. If you just want to hear how this is working for me based on this one use, then stay here. But don't let this be your final stop in the decision-making pro pro uh, process. <laughs> and I would say that of any anyone. Don't let any one channel, any one written review, any one spot be your sole source for information that influence you, influences you. Sorry, I'm very tongue twisted today. On purchasing, take in a lot of information and then make your own decision um, and take in the factors that you want to take in. So if price isn't a concern for you, don't consider it. Don't consider it. Um, if it is, then then do, obviously. But, um, you know, I will call it like I see it and I will shoot you straight. And keep in mind though, you're getting an impression of our product and not a comprehensive review. So when I say, you know, the residual slickness of this was off in that first pass. That was my impression. I think it's better now. It definitely feels better. So something I did on that first pass left me feeling, and maybe, I don't know, maybe the extra hydration. I do have a tendency not to hydrate as much as I would like. So take that into consideration. Um, but it's feeling better now. So that's all that matters. Now I will say, it does not feel to me like say an a and &E soap Kaizen. It's got tremendous, the lather properties just feel denser to me than this one. This one feels a little to me on the lighter side. Um, and it it could be, and I'll, I'll take it in my hands and look at it in a minute. It could be strictly the way I lathered it. So keep in mind that, you know, how you lather it makes a difference too. Because I'm sure Jack from the virtual groom room can lather this stuff and, and it'll look like it's as, you know, has that sheen and everything else. Um, but I can only evaluate something based on the way I do it. And I don't change my technique from soap to soap. You have to dial it in a little, I would say. But I'm changing things just to get to the desired outcome. I'm not changing it to make a pretty lather. Because that's not important to me. Um, but I do appreciate, I like watching the guys who make pretty lathers though, because I think it's cool that they take the time to do it. You can see there's some residual slickness here. Is it elite level? Five plus dollars an ounce? I'm not sure, honestly. Um, could be totally me, but this particular soap um, feels to me, let's look at it, because we're just going to rinse off and we're going to hit the shower, so we're not going to do a post routine today. Let's just look at it. Let's put it in our hands. It doesn't really come across. It's slick. That much is for sure. Uh, uh, it smells phenomenal. 
both off the puck and when it's on your face or head in my case. Um, I think the the way I made this lather, I'm, I'm making a very specific caveat here. It doesn't have that it doesn't have that feel that like an A&E or say declaration grooming that really uber fatty, lack of a better term, type lather, but it's very, very slick and it produces a very serviceable lather. Um, but in terms of that, it's the consistency is a little different than those soaps I mentioned. So take that into consideration if you want. You might lather it and it's an absolute home run. So always look at what other people are doing as well. Don't stop in one place. For me, this is a very good quality soap. I don't think you'll have any problems with it whatsoever. It is definitely quite slick. Um, for me, not a tremendous amount of cushion, but it is very slick and it smells great. So I'm perfectly happy with this soap. Um, I want to thank uh, Marion for sending it. Um, it's on, ba on Based on the scent, I would buy it um, because I just love this scent. If I were buying specifically for four, just for quality, and I'm looking for that upper echelon, absolute top, top-end performance, I probably wouldn't. That's just my opinion. Um, but I do like it, and just because it has a fantastic scent, I would buy it. And so there you have it in terms of how I feel about the soap. Thanks, Marianne, for sending it to me. It's a terrific scent. And by the way, I love the, the Evo, too. That was a great first run um, with that. I want to thank everybody for joining us once again. Uh, hopefully, I'm having a great time on vacation. We shall see. Until next time, I want to remind you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And God bless each and every one of you.